Hello everybody, today's video for Valentine's DIYs. For this Valentine no, you're going to need a heart, uh, any heart that they have. I have this one, uh, I will be taking this off. I will also be decorating with this door hanger. I want my Valentine this year to be more like in a pink and white instead of the red and white kind of a thing. I will also need a styrofoam ball and uh, flesh paint to paint this because this is going to be his nose. Um, a fleece, this is a pink and reddish and white one. This was actually, uh, I didn't use it when I had my girls. I had it and I was sorting out clothes and I found it, so I thought I should use it. And you can use polyfill or anything to fill up the the hat. I'm using this one, it's like a little mesh. I had used it for another project, for another project for uh, Halloween and I'm going to use that. And, and for his beer, we're going to be using the Essentials Cotton Mop Head. This one is from the Dollar Tree as well as the heart and the door hanger are from the Dollar Tree. I had done another gnome similar to this with another kind of a um, way, so make sure you check that one out. It was for Christmas, but you can literally do it for anything else. I wanted to do one this time and another way with a heart, so let's do that and let's get started. You're, of course, going to need your scissors, your hard glue gun, and let's get Going. First of all, you might want to paint your nose first, so while you're doing the rest of the things, your nose is completely dry. Okay. Valentine's, he looks so pretty. Yay, on to our next craft. So we're going to need white paint. And I'm going to use this pink paint. This is the cherry blossom. And to outline, we're going to use black. So let's get to doing it. You can uh, paint all the sides except one, so that one you can set it down and let let it dry and not be all messy. Uh, I don't want it a solid, uh, like a matte pink, I mean, I'm sorry, a matte white that it was like completely white. I want it kind of like a little bit to show of the red one. That's why I got red dyes. They also have green and blue, I believe, um, but I wanted it to be also not, not perfect. I kind of want to make a shop paint white, uh, which is what. Okay, our blocks are painted already. I put them like that so I get um, that one's still fresh, but I just put it like that so they kind of stick to each other a little bit better. So now one side will work for our Valentine's and then the other side will work for every day. So we're going to go ahead and now I'm going to use my pink paint and do love on this side. And on the other side, we're going to do home and it will work for two things. And that was my daughter flushing the toilet. <laughs> other craft we're going to use a big big long board it's going to be our welcome sign and this is going to be purpose for valentine's because i'm doing it for valentine's it could also work for every day if you turn it around and do something else from around so we're going to write the big big um 
welcome sign but first we're gonna paint it with acrylic paint and we're gonna make our canvas all white first and then we'll work from there this one is going to work for for everyday use i'm going to be painting it with this uh acrylogy uh paint and this one is from the dollar tree they do carry big um what can i they do carry uh acrylic paint so i'm gonna be painting with white here just like that because i want my canvas to be white i did get this uh wood from Home Depot. I actually they cut it for 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 the under the bed. I bought it to put it under the bed for my daughter's um, uh, beds because they didn't have. They just had this lid under it, and they didn't have like a solid like one piece. And we bought this one. It's really thin. Look at this. It's really thin and not heavy at all and this was like the end of the cut so you still have to buy like the whole board so we kept the little the little pieces the little we kept the little pieces and i decided right now to make a welcome sign for the valentine season and later on we can turn it over and just have welcome and keep it there for like other seasons or we can interchange it with other things like this so let's get to finishing all of the board white it is a very long board it's maybe six feet um but i'm gonna do it all six feet i don't want to cut it it's just a waste of a board if i cut it so let me do that and we'll come back ornaments there are eight pieces from here color your ornament but it's not going to be an ornament per se it's going to be a banner for halloween and we're going to be using our pink and white colors like we'll be using for the past decorations so we're going to do that we're going to paint them and we're going to use the little things that we have here we're going to see if we use those they have kite tie so we can put the the ribbon through here or the little um 
string through here. But we're gonna paint them first. Mommy, this is the. Now that we have all of our ornaments colored, I went ahead already and put the little streak that it included in there. I put it through the little hole and then made a knot at the end so it wouldn't come out from here. It was just, these are wood stickers and they do have a glittery. Want some of these we're gonna use for the banner over there. And with the white ones, I'm gonna get the pink one it has a little sticky note on the back and i'm going to stick it the pink one the glittery pink one right on the on the white one and the red one i'm going to stick it on the pink one just like that or let me see if it works if pink and pink and red and white oh i think it's better like this Pink with pink, and then red, red with white. It'll look better. It'll give it a little bit of pop. But since the sticky thing is right on the center, I'm going to try and kind of move it if it's possible to unstick it. I think it will. To unstick it and put it right at the top of the corner. So I'm actually sticking it to something unless you just, just stick it with hard glue instead of on our little heart stuck to our thing over here we can do the ribbon remember i told you we were gonna tie these things but instead i forgot i had this ribbon from the dollar tree it has like little slots i think through there so i decided to use this instead and thread it through so this is what i'm doing i'm grabbing my Thing here oh my my little hearts are falling I'm gonna be using this other sticky dots that I also you can also find if you're able to find it at the Dollar Tree at Crafter Square they have these stickers magical adhesive dots and they have quite a lot and they are very sticky hopefully look um, the little circles are right there and they get they get super sticky Look at this. I'm going to stick it there. It has a little clear thing. So now they're going to be more secure with this one as well. Because since I touched the other side of the other one, that's why they're unsticking. But anywho, once we have the... I haven't cut the ribbon from the roll so I could see how much I need. And obviously we can reuse these or something, some other craft if we want to decom, like undo this one and do something else later on. Um, look at this. So it's being threaded or like being ribbon in like this. And you can still see the little koala and it's still like little burlapy cute. So I thought that one's better than the, the little burlap um, thread. So let me do that. You can obviously take out the the thread if you haven't done so.
Well, that is it that I have for you guys today for this gnome valentine decoration DIY video. Hopefully you guys like it and I will see you next time. Goodbye! Subscribe!